All right, let's get right into it. We all know NVIDIA. I mean, they're the undisputed king of AI computing, the company whose GPUs are basically the engine behind this entire AI revolution. But its CEO, Jensen Huang, he's already looking over the horizon. Today, we're going to unpack NVIDIA's ambitious new plan, a massive bet on what they see as the dawn of the robotic era. So after pretty much securing a monopoly in the AI training market, NVIDIA is not, you know, just kicking back and relaxing. Nope. They are making a huge strategic pivot towards what they believe is the next great technological platform. And this isn't just about a new product line. This is a calculated move to define the next decade of technology. So it just begs the question, right? When you've reached the absolute peak of the hottest tech field on the entire planet, where could you possibly go from there? Well, for NVIDIA, the answer isn't just more AI. It's about giving that AI a physical body. And this quote just brilliantly illustrates the scale of their ambition. This isn't about building slightly better factory arms. NVIDIA is betting that robotics is going to be the next fundamental platform that changes our world, just like the smartphone in your pocket or the EV driving down the road. The stakes, well, they literally could not be higher. But to really get why NVIDIA is making this move right now, we first need to look at the massive problem that's been holding the entire robotics industry back. It's this fundamental gap, a bottleneck, really, that has kept truly intelligent robots in the realm of science fiction. Let's break it down. The robots we have today, whether they're in a factory or a warehouse, they suffer from three major pain points. Their perception is slow, they really struggle to make stable decisions in complex environments, and their ability to interact with us, it's incredibly limited. They're mechanical, sure, but they're not really intelligent. So here's the crucial point. The problem isn't a lack of smart algorithms or clever software. It's that the hardware, the low power chips inside most of these robots, they just can't handle the load. There's this computational divide where the brains can't keep up with the software's potential. And this comparison really lays out the before and after. On one side, you have the clunky, limited robots tick today. But on the other, you see the promise. Robots, they can handle complex visual perception, plan their own paths in real time, and actually understand natural language. That's the huge gap NVIDIA intends to bridge. So how is NVIDIA planning to solve this? Well, here comes their big solution. It's a new piece of hardware, purpose-built to solve this exact problem. It's called Jetson AGX Thor, and it's designed to be nothing less than the brain for this whole new generation of robots. And I just love this description because it's so on point. Thor isn't just another processor. You've got to think of it as a brain motherboard. It's a single integrated platform designed from the ground up for the very unique demands of robotics and AI operating out in the real world. So what makes this brain so powerful? Well, for starters, it's built on NVIDIA's cutting edge hopper architecture. That's the same tech that used in their top tier data center GPUs. It has a built-in transformer engine specifically for modern AI. And crucially, it delivers the real-time, low-latency performance that a robot absolutely needs to see, think, and act instantly. And it does all that while being super energy efficient. But Thor, it is so much more than just a powerful piece of hardware. It's actually the centerpiece of a brilliant business strategy, a master plan to do for robotics what NVIDIA already did for AI training, completely dominate the entire ecosystem. So here's the playbook, and it's a three-step process they've basically perfected. First, you bind developers to your hardware with the Jepson series. Second, you lock them into your software using things like the Isaac Robotics platform and CUDA. And then third, the killer move. You expand the whole ecosystem with tools like Isaac Sim, which is a virtual world for training robots, making it the absolute industry standard. The end goal here is crystal clear. By controlling the hardware, the software, and the development environment, NVIDIA is aiming to build a completely closed-loop system. They're not just selling chips, they're trying to become the indispensable operating system for the entire robotic era. Of course, a plan this ambitious, it's also a massive gamble. So let's look at the numbers and the risks involved in this huge global bet on the future. The journey starts right here a developer kit priced at nearly $3,500. Now, while that sounds steep, it's aimed squarely at big corporations and research labs to get the market started. The real money is going to come later through mass-produced modules and, you guessed it, software subscriptions. So why is the gamble worth it? Well, just look at the size of the price. By 2027, there are projected to be 5 million industrial robots globally. 
And that doesn't even count the service market. It's the next potential multi-hundred billion dollar industry. And if you provide the brains for all of them, you become the biggest winner. But look, it's not a sure thing. There are some significant uncertainties here. The cost could be a real barrier for mass commercialization. You've got competitors like Qualcomm, Intel, and Huawei also targeting the space. And finally, there are always policy and supply chain risks, especially when you're talking about these high-performance chips that could really complicate the whole rollout. Okay, so let's zoom out. What does this all really mean for the future? NVIDIA's strategy, it kind of forces us to ask a pretty fundamental question about where technology is actually headed next. This classic quote from The Innovator's Dilemma just perfectly captures what's happening. Right now, advanced robotics is still kind of a marginal technology, but NVIDIA is betting that this margin is about to become the new core of the entire tech industry, and they are actively trying to shape that future themselves. And that leaves us with the final big question. Is this just another promising but ultimately niche market for NVIDIA? Or are they correctly identifying the next super platform that will define our world? Their entire strategy hangs on that answer. And with Thor, they've officially placed their bet.